Uh, welcome friends. So today we will learn how to use Lombok in Spring Boot with MySQL. Actually, uh, Lombok is uh, used for shortening the code. Actually, we uh, do not need uh, setters and getters anymore uh, by using Lombok. Uh, we have seen uh, we uh, make uh, getters and setter then uh, which take so much space in our code. But after using Lombok, we have to just add a annotation like at the rate getter, at the rate setter. So I will uh, briefly explain Lombok tutorial today. So I have a project Lombok builder pattern and I also implement a builder pattern in this Lombok. So uh, let me show uh, what dependencies I have used. Uh, I have used uh, I have used dev tools. I have used MySQL driver. Uh, here it is. Uh, you can use Lombok. Uh, you will uh, get this uh, while you type uh, Lombok. Then you will get this here. So you can easily uh, implement Lombok in your project. So first of all, I am implementing it in MySQL. Then I will implement in MongoDB in next video. So first of all, uh, let me create a model. Uh, I, let me name it student my SQL. In the package name is model. Uh, let me verify it with my old project. In my SQL, here it is. So uh, I am just using at the rate entity and I will uh, import it from java.persistent. And I have already made this model so i am just copy and pasting it for uh, do not making it uh, this video more lengthy or boring uh, just importing these packages uh, here uh, the entity name is student mysql table name is student mysql and here you notice at the rate data and at the rate builder uh, using at the rate data we will get uh, uh, like uh, getters and setters both we can use uh, at the rate uh, setter at the rate getter uh, alone if we only want setters then we can use at the rate setter if we want uh, both setter and getter then we can use at the rate data uh, so let me copy other fields also I have taken I have taken a primary key ID and a column with a student name and I have also make a, a, a default constructor and I have to use at the rate all right because at the rate builder will not allow us to define our public constructor because it contains a private constructor and uh, you can see uh, i have not made any getters and setter but they are present here and uh, you can see you can verify it from here uh, outline and uh, here you can see student mysql has get id get name set id uh, set name so uh, um, this class contains uh, these methods uh, and these method comes from at the rate data annotations and also uh, this uh, student mysql contain a class student mysql builder which comes from at the rate builder and it also contains some methods like this and we can use them in our project uh, so now the turn for uh, repo uh, student mysql repo 
then this will I name this as DAO package name is DAO and let me just copy and paste uh, repo code shift O for importing the packages and now the uh, I am going to build a controller class and let me name it student my SQL controller and let me give the package name as controller controller and let me finish it and let me uh, copy paste some code from student controller um, first of all let me paste this i'm using rest controller and uh, request mapping is uh, mysql uh, that means we have to uh, prefix MySQL in our URL for accessing this controller get mapping, set mapping, post mapping, etc. And now I will auto wire it with the student repo. First. It will auto wire the repo with the controller. And now uh, it is the code for getting all students from database. This um, Java dot util dot list, and uh, this function will uh, use for getting the all students. And now I am copy and pasting remaining code. And here it is. Uh, like uh, I am using get mapping for storing the data. So you can use uh, post data, uh, post mapping, but uh, our, our uh, main motive is to use Lombok so I'm using get mapping uh, you can see I have uh, used for loop in which we I am adding 20 students and you can see this is the ordinary way we used uh, like uh, making an object of uh, model type and then set its uh, ID and set its name and then saving it to repo and now look uh, it will uh, it is consuming three lines and uh, it's and it is not implementing the builder pattern and now uh, the second pattern get builder pattern and here you can see uh, i have used a loop uh, in which i am uh, entering 20 student data and i have used builder pattern and it's just simple uh, let me explain it uh, student my sql uh, this is our model name and this model contains a builder class uh, builder function as we have seen in my sql uh, here we have a builder function which returns a uh, student my sql builder type written type and from there we can uh, set the id and set the name and you can see uh, the setter uh, the setter is not uh, of my Builder pattern is not like set ID, it's just only ID. Uh, here we can set any thing uh, dot set name uh, dot name. And then 